In this video you will see how to check the continuity or discontinuity of a function from a graph. Now this is the graph of the function f of x. Now we have to check at which points this function is continuous or discontinuous. So before that I will roughly write the definition of continuity that how we check that the function is continuous. So the definition continuity. Now if a function is defined at a point where we have to check the continuity and the limit of the function exists at that point. This should be defined. f of a that means the value of the function at the point where we have to check the continuity should be defined and the limit f of x at the point A should exist and these two are equal then the function will be continuous at the point A. A is the point where we will be checking the continuity. So this is the definition of continuity. Now if any of these conditions does not hold that means the function is discontinuous. Now there are different types of discontinuities. I will write those also the different types of discontinuities so first one is removable discontinuity I'll just write like that so f of a does not exist but limit of the function exists that means if first condition does not hold but the second condition holds then that will be removable discontinuity second type is jump discontinuity in that if f of a exists or you can say defined actually defined is the proper word if the function is defined at the point a but the limit does not exist limit does not exist then that discontinuity will be jump discontinuity and the third one is in finite discontinuity in that case if f of a and the limit at the point a both does not exist then that will be the the discontinuity of the third type that means infinite discontinuity now let's check if this function is continuous or discontinuous at different points so first of all we'll check the continuity at the point one that means when x is equal to one at this point so to check the continuity first we'll check this condition if the function is continuous then we don't need to check these conditions so at x equals to 1 that means at this point f of a that means this function does not exist as you can see a little hole over here so that means the function is not defined at this point so the first condition does not hold at 1 that means the function is discontinuous at this point the function is discontinuous now let's check what is the type of the discontinuity at 1 now the function is not defined at 1 that means f of 1 is not defined let me write here f of 1 is undefined at this point now let's check the limit at this point 
So when x is approaching to 1 from the left side, the function is approaching to this point from the left side. And when the function is approaching to 1 from the right side, the function is approaching to the same point from the right side. That means the limit at 1 exists. So the f of 1 is not defined but limit when x is approaching to 1 exists. So when function is not defined but the limit exists that type of discontinuity is removable discontinuity. Now let's check at point 2 when x is equal to 2. So first we'll check the continuity. Now at 2 when x is equal to 2 like that means that here the function is defined f of 2 is 2. So I'll write at 2 the value of the function is also 2. Now let's check the limit. When x is approaching to 2 from the left side the function is approaching to 2 from the left side. When x is approaching to 2 from the right side the function is approaching to again 2 from the right side. That means the limit at the point 2 exists. Also f of 2 is 2 that means at x equals to 2 the value of the function is 2 and limit is also approaching to the point 2 that means these two are equal that means f of 2 is equal to the limit f of x when x is approaching to 2 so these two conditions hold that means this function is continuous at x is equal to 2 so we don't have to check this part now let's check at the point 3 that means at this point so let's check the continuity first so at x equals to 3 we see the function is not defined as there is a vertical asymptote over here so when x equals to 3 the function is not defined that means the first condition does not hold now let's check the limit so when x is approaching to 3 from the left side the function is approaching to positive infinity when x is approaching to 3 from the right side the function is approaching to negative infinity here in this case the limit does not exist and at this point the function is also not defined that means this function is discontinuous as both the conditions both the conditions are not true so when both the conditions are not true that kind of discontinuity is infinite discontinuity so it's in finite discontinuity now let's check at the point 4 when x is equal to 4 so first we'll check the continuity now when x is equal to 4 the function is defined as when x is 4 value of the function is 3 now we'll check the other condition so when x is approaching to 4 from the left side from this side the function is approaching to 2 from the left side and when x is approaching to 4 from the right side from this side the function is approaching to 3 so the left hand limit is 2 of this function and the right hand limit is 3 so that means the limit of the function at the point 4 does not exist that means the function is 
discontinuous and if the first condition holds that means the function is defined at the point and limit does not exist then that type of discontinuity is jump discontinuity so it's it is jump discontinuity so this is how we check the continuity and discontinuity of a function from the graph